In this second part of the tiling textures tutorial, we'll be seeing some more involved examples of uh, texture tiling with Pixplant. We'll be looking at the uh, included tools to help preparing a good seed image like the seed wizard and uh, the pattern window. The tutorial doesn't use the 3D maps editing part of uh, Pixplant, but any of the generated textures could be converted into 3D maps through the send to 3D maps button at the top. Um, the seed images, images we'll be using are um, from bencloward.com, uh, imageafter.com and burningwell.org, which are great collections of public domain photos. And uh, we'll be starting with uh, uh, an old plastic surface. Uh, as you can see, the, the image elements are not aligned with the image site, so let's uh, launch the seed wizard window and um, we can change the, the control points to four control points so that the image elements are better aligned to the image sites. Uh, the image appears to also have uh, a bit of uh, fish eye distortion. You can see that this element is not parallel to the grid uh, lines that, uh, that are uh, showing here. So let's try uh, correcting fisheye distortion with this slider. Okay, you can see that it's now better aligned. Okay, so we can maybe push a little to the right here also. Okay, and uh, on to the next step. Um, on the next step, we can. Uh, define a pattern rectangle um, that uh, uh, includes uh, as better as possible um, elements in the in the image for instance in this case pixplan selected this one for us but it's not very uh, regular so let's define another one perhaps something like this what happened here um, as you can see um, in the top left corner um, the pattern indicator is showing best so far and if I move my mouse slightly it uh, it won't move the pattern rectangle it's locked um, to, to unlock if we would want to continue selecting um, we, we simply need to, to move the mouse further away and we can continue this is a mechanism for Pixplan to lock to the to the best pattern rectangle so far Anyway, let's try to find a good one then. Okay. Okay, so this is not very bad. And let's use this one and let's generate. Okay, so you can see that we have some issues here. For instance, this is not uh, properly aligned. Sometimes it's simply better to generate again. Okay, so this appears to be a little better. Still some problems here. Let's try to generate. Okay, it's a bit better. Okay, some issues here. Okay, so let's see how it tiles in full screen. Okay, so it's reasonably better. Okay, so on to the next, and um, the next example is um, carpet. Let's see uh, how to make a seamlessly tiling uh, texture from this carpet seed image. Uh, so let's launch a seed wizard. There's not much we can do here. It appears re to be reasonably aligned and uh, Pixplan detected this uh, pattern. Okay, it seems good also. Okay, so let's generate. Uh, okay, so this is a um, frequent problem. As you can see, this part of the of the image uh, is more focused than this one. This is because Pixplan is taking elements from um, different parts of the seed image. And in this case, the seed image uh, has some focused parts, like here, 
and some unfocused parts like here in the in the borders of the window so what we can do is simply to uh, out select them the, the the ones we don't want in this case the unfocused parts and perhaps also here okay and let's just select uh, just generate from this one okay you can see now that uh, that it's um, properly tiling you could get rid of this uh, artifact but uh, yeah, we've seen how to do that before anyway so there we have it okay on to the next one and the the next uh, example is um, a, a wood log wall um, which is here this one and okay so let's launch the seed wizard um, it would help to get rid of these elements which which we won't want so let's just drag the handles until they are not uh, visible anymore perhaps we should get rid of this also um, this uh, log breaks breaks between the logs let's just get some of them out of the way okay and okay so it seems seems well aligned the rest of the elements let's see a pattern big Splend found this pattern this big pattern mm, maybe maybe a smaller pattern would be better so let's select something like this okay and use it generate mm, okay so Pixplant is including these logs, these log breaks. Um, let's take them out and generate again. Of course, we, we could also use them, but let's choose not to. Mm, okay, so some uh, discontinuities and let's just generate again. Okay, so it's repeating this uh this wood uh, element which is coming from here so we could just do this and generate okay so also problem here okay so it appears to be tiling tiling okay okay on to the next one and the next one is uh, a wooden surface uh, okay so let's launch a seed wizard and so removing the grid we have this fault in the wood which is not aligned so let's try aligning it okay so okay okay on to the to the pattern uh, selection part so pixplant doesn't uh, find here a pattern uh, neither can i let's just hit finish and generate and see what we get okay so this is a problem similar to the one we've seen in the carpet before and um uh, so it's a difference of shading in the image in this case and uh, so let's we can just remove the parts of the image with uh, different shading perhaps also this one and let's see what we get okay as you can see that problem has gone away uh, it's also including uh, this fault in the um, in the in the wood let's remove it generate again okay generate again to see if you get a better a more natural looking pattern okay so uh, there are some problems here let's try as you can see this doesn't look very natural and um, so let's try enabling a vertical symmetry and generating again okay perhaps we could generate this part only or 
or maybe the entire column. Okay. Perhaps you could generate also this one. Okay. So uh, it's now going better. Okay, it looks reasonable. Should get get rid of this also. Okay, so there we have it. Um, okay, then uh, on to the next one, and the next one is um, bamboo fence. Okay, uh, seed wizard. Um, by the way, uh, we could uh, have the, sh the seed wizard appear automatically each time we had a new seed by uh, checking this uh, this button here. Um, so let's see w what we have here. As you can see, the this could be better aligned. Also here at the right side, the top could be better aligned. Okay, so it looks reasonable. Okay, pattern. Uh, what pattern can we make of this? Some are larger than others. Some bamboo sticks are larger than larger than others. Well, let's leave it without a pattern and see what we get. Okay, so generate. Okay, so let's generate again. There are some artifacts. And again, hmm. perhaps it could it, it would help to to enable vertical symmetry. Okay, so it's looking better now. Still, we have some problems here. Let's just generate this column. Okay, it's better. Maybe here. We should get auto. Also, this one. Okay, still, this is not very, very good. Okay. Okay, it seems, seems better now, and it's uh, more reasonable. Okay, let's move to the next one, and the uh, next one is um, we have here a seed of some um, wood planks, some old wood planks. Okay, so. What can we do with this um, seed image? It's not very regular, it's not very aligned. Um, perhaps you can make it a little more aligned like this. Perhaps there's some fisheye distortion also. Uh, okay, perhaps the, to the bottom can be a, a bit more vertically aligned. Something like this and the top. Okay, let's try with this. Well, not much of a pattern here as in the previous example, but um, anyway, the, the bottom seems more uh, ordered. Let's try at least a pattern that covers. Okay, see, this, uh, this is covering uh, a good part of the image, at least half of the image, vertically. So we hit finish and generate. Uh, okay, so still the the wood breaks are the breaks in the planks are appearing. Let's remove them away. Also here and some here also too. Okay. Okay, so this is better. Let's try parts to fix parts of the image. Okay, and uh, perhaps also here. Mm, perhaps the entire row. So 
some problems here now. Okay, let's try adding some symmetry, horizontal symmetry. Okay, so it's much, much better now. Um, let's see how it tiles in full screen. And uh, okay, okay, so on to the next one, and uh, it's the last example. And it's, uh, it's a brick, as you can see. Um, well, uh, it's not really. Um, uh, it's a it's a seed image. We need to to fix some things on. The fish eye distortion is uh, somewhat obvious. Okay, so it's better here, and uh, we need to make these more aligned. Let's show the grid more aligned and also the top. and perhaps a bit more horizontal alignment here okay on to the next step okay so pixplan Pix found this um, this pattern which it looks good looks good looks quite reasonable let's just use it and generate and there it is so we have our uh, brick wall uh, fix it and generate it uh, into a seamlessly tiling texture okay so that's it uh, we've, we've seen how to create seamlessly tiling textures from uh, some more problematic photos um, than the, the photos we've seen in uh, part one of the tutorial thanks for watching the pixplan demo for windows and mac os x can be downloaded at pixplan.com